Does the ultrasound improve the patient trust and buy-in? I'm gonna say 100% on that. They're not with the doctor pointing to the problem on the MRI, they're with me looking at a swollen tendon that's been there for six months and it hurts and I'm telling them that this is the problem and this is what we need to treat and this is how we're going to treat it. And we're gonna use ultrasound to guide the procedures and things are gonna get better. I'm Dr. Ian Young, I'm a physical therapist. I live in Savannah, Georgia, a little island called Tybee Island. And I've been practicing for about 28 or 29 years. And um, I have a successful cash practice now that uh, I see about 10 to 15 patients per week. And um, it's really fun as opposed to a uh, practice where I was in for 25 years and I saw 25 people a day. So yeah, and the addition of ultrasound to my practice over the last seven years has been uh, mind blowing really. And it, it's really changed my patient buy-in and overall practice patterns. I see fewer patients throughout the week because my visits are longer. So I always do a diagnostic ultrasound when they come in for their first visit. And then we do special tests, make a diagnosis, and, and it progresses into about an hour visit one-on-one. -on -one. And that's pretty standard for me now. Even on follow-ups, reassessing uh, treatments, we're using the ultrasound there too. And then when you, when you can see the pathology and you're needling it and you're seeing it, and then you're seeing changes, four weeks later, like I don't think there's any other modality out there that can do that with that at that price point for the patient, you know, in an all-inclusive treatment. I just don't think there's anything out there like that. You can't get in an MRI and they can't poke you with needles. You know what I mean? Or they can't, you just can't see it. It's just a static environment. And then you get a static picture of somebody that's lying down and that might not be the problem. Maybe they need to be standing up or with their hand over their head, which ultrasound really can do, you can do a lot of dynamic stuff with it. I use both the carp based system and compact ultrasound in my practice. For me, most of the time when I'm needling, I'm using the Clarius. Clarius is really coming out with more stuff every month. Their voiceover is better than my standalone for sure. It's wireless, you don't have any cords connected to you, and it's just a lot easier in that respect. That's a 110% answer. I can now see the tendon or see the ligaments that, that are torn, and we use dry needling for various reasons to promote healing of those things, and now we can see them and now the patient can see them and they can see the needle go in and it's just an, it's, it's an unbelievable progress within a physical therapy clinic. The patients are getting better quicker because we're getting to the right spot quicker instead of you know like a corticosteroid injection where they're just flooding the area and maybe not hitting the exact problem. We have diagnostic musculoskeletal ultrasound for the upper extremity, lower extremity, spine, and some regenerative uh, processes. But we normally have between 15, and I think we've had as many as 46 in our courses. So we have quite a few probes that are going around the room and uh, it's really exciting and it's really new for a lot of the physical therapists around the country, really around the world. And it's become an exciting thing because we really think it's the next big thing for physical therapy and we want to make it a, almost like a, just a, a normal thing to have in your clinic. If you don't have ultrasound and you're not doing diagnostic ultrasound, then you're way behind. And that's really the goal. And we also teach ultrasound guided dry needling. We get that question all the time, right? We teach every other weekend or every third weekend. And we say that pound for pound, for the price point and for the quality, a handheld is preferred. This is how everybody should start. I think I've used four other wireless probes 
and pound for pound, I'm pretty sure Clarius is in the top two because it's consistent, especially the linear probe. The visualization is really clear. We know that the handheld portable probes like Clarius are much more cost effective and they're really great to learn on. And we're finding as we use them even more that they're just as reliable as the standing cart.